Hey guys, um, so welcome to Exploring the North again. We've got another video for you today where we're going to be visiting the four panopticons of Lancashire. Um, now, as we can see over in the distance there, we have the Atom Panopticon, which is located above Wycollar Village um, on the hills going over towards Haworth. If you were coming from Lanesher Bridge or Colmway, it would, um, yeah, you'd find it on the road to Haworth. Um, but we did a video of Wycollar recently and we went through and we went down to the old white collar hall and um, Ferndean Manor out of the book Jane Eyre uh, the inspiration for that and we showed you some steps in that and we said if you head up there it takes you to the atom I think we said that anyway <laughs> um, but as you can see this path here if I can just get a better view of it look at the views of Pendle in the background look such a lovely place um, but there's a path down there that actually leads down to white collar village um, there's some really nice walls down there as well they have um really nice sort of stone walls that look like crooked teeth they're amazing and um, but this path here leads up to a little car park at the top there which is free and um, if you want to come and see the atom and then we'll make our way up to the atom itself now when it was first constructed back in 2006 i think it was it was absolutely amazing pristine condition sadly it's been vandalized over the years which is so sad and um, it really annoys me when people do that and um, but we'll take a look at it, a look at it anyway because the views from inside of it are still really good and it's still an amazing sculpture on the top of the hills looking over pendle so as we come closer to the atom i thought i'd just give you a nice view the surrounding area Actually, there's a few people in the atom right now, so just I thought I'd show you. It's um, the Lancashire Way. I uh, thought I'd have a little walk down this footpath just to show you what it's like in case you were planning on doing a walk out here. It's not just the atom that you can come and visit. You come into the surrounding area as well with this one, which, to be honest, they're not all like that. All the uh, panopticons in Lancashire, they aren't as good as this one. Um, but this one is exceptionally nice scenery in Bronte country. So you can actually see from the car park um, at the Atom, some of those stones I was talking about. Really interesting walls, aren't they? Um, but if you're interested in the car park itself, the access is very, very good. Um, it's flat, you shouldn't have any problems um, for accessibility. If you struggle for accessibility, it should still be good for you. Um, and the path down to the Atom is the same. It's quite a nice, easy path down. Obviously you can do a long walk around here. Um, a little bit more information also on the Atom in case you wanted to read that. But yeah, the path is quite nice all the way down to it. And also just some views of the countryside in the other direction as well. And obviously the footpath you can go for a walk on if you prefer that. Also, in case you're interested, it was uh, designed by Peter Meacock Projects. Um, and it was designed to be a shelter um, and also a beautiful just object in the landscape and it certainly is and you can see it down from Wycollar uh, the, run, the road that runs through Wycollar by the Beck as well you can see it from there up in the distance so now let's have a look at what we've actually come to look at the Atom itself let's go inside it's just such a shame I can already see the graffiti when you go in because the structure is made out of concrete uh, reinforced with fiberglass or something and then coated in bronze that's what it said online we can see how it perfectly frames the views of Pendle there is a bit of bad, bad language on the graffiti. Hopefully, one day they'll come and clean it all off. Interestingly, as well, the word panopticon, I've just found out, means a structure providing panoramic views. Um, so each one of these structures that we're going to be visit visiting, these four panopticons across East Lancashire, um, yeah, they each provide a panoramic view of the area. So this is Pendle, Haworth area, Bullsworth Hill, panoramic views of those areas so there we've looked at the atom at white collar then overlooking white collar uh, we're now going to head on to our second one which is the singing ringing tree at burnley overlook it on the moors of burnley as you'll see in a minute it isn't the longest walk down from the car park to the singing ringing tree um, but there are some longer walks you can do footpaths all around this area covering over all the moors we can see pen over in the distance over there um, but you, there's loads of walks and footpaths around these moors um, to extend your walk if you want to to include the singing ringing tree um, but yeah let's walk down the path now to the singing ringing tree 
So we've only been here literally five or ten minutes and as you can see my family have already made their way down to the tree down there. So it isn't a long walk if you come in just to see the panopticon. This is a path look, it's quite gravelly. Like I say the car parking is free. Um, it's just some way to come if you want a quick walk if you haven't got much time and you just want to get a few views. As I say we've got Pendle over in the distance. I just thought I'd give you another look at the path just so you can see that it doesn't really change all the way to the singing ringing tree. I've come on a windy day for a reason because we want to hear the wind going through those tubes if we can uh, to hear the low pitch whirring sound that it makes. Um, but yeah, let's get there and see if we can hear anything. So we're getting closer now and you can just start to hear the wind passing through the tubes. I'll just be quiet now. Get a bit closer. Yeah, so what could quite possibly be one of the largest wind chimes on earth? <laughs> uh, maybe you could confirm that in the comments. Uh, it's designed by architects Mike Tonkin and Anna Liu. Um, as was part of a project for the East Lancashire Environmental Arts Network. It's um, 13 feet wide at the top, 4 feet at the bottom, uh, made of 223 pieces of steel in, and in 2017 a replica was also made on the outskirts of Austin, Austin, Texas. It won the National Award of the Royal Institute of British Architecture for, the, for architectural excellence. Um, so let's have a little listen to it. It's designed um, to bend, it look like it's a tree bending in the wind. And we can see that, can't we? Let's get a look at it from the other side, overlooking Pendle. So we're now up on the hills of Rosendale then, where we come to our next panopticon, and that's the halo. So this is an 18 metre diameter structure, and it's got, it sits on a tripod. Each leg of the tripod is five metres. It's almost developed a moat around it, hasn't it, with the rain. Um, it's quite a cool structure. Is it supposed to resemble a UFO? I know it, it um, lights up at night. It was designed by John Kennedy. Um, I'm well informed that's not the President of the United States of America, but just an architect. Um, but yeah, the views of the hills, there's benches to sit on, but the views of the hills are really nice. Looking down over the towns of ha the town of Haslingdon, Rottenstall probably as well. But yeah, just to show you the path. So we're parked down there. It was only a short path, a bit muddy up to the halo but you can also do longer walks as you can see the paths go off there footpaths into the the hills so you can, you can make it as part of a longer walk maybe circle back on yourself and um, but yeah that's the halo have you visited this which which of these panopticons do you like the most by the way let us know in the comments and we've also come to the uh, blackburn panopticon the, it's called color fields but as you can see it isn't very colorful anymore <laughs> so this area was originally uh, built to house two cannons it says that it was built to, have, to display two 24 pound bronze cannons captured at Sebastopol in 1855 and gifted by Queen Victoria. Um, but uh, sadly they were sold for scrap early in World War II. Um, but yeah, it's, there's not much here anymore. It's supposed to be all colorful. So we get a bit of a view here of what it would have been like when it was uh, first painted up. But as you can see, it's just been let go a bit really this one. Um, so I'm not sure I'd class it as much of a, a of a panopticon anymore as a, an artistic feature to come and visit not in its current state maybe they'll paint it up again in future i'm not sure i think they could have cut the trees down if they cut the trees down a bit you might get an even better view of the surrounding area i'll be honest unless it's maintained i wouldn't travel a long way to come and see this um, but it's not as good as the other panopticons but if you're close by, maybe come for the history. Uh, but thanks for watching. Hit the like button if it's helped you. Subscribe to the channel um, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.